name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist. And I'm going to show you how to add clown makeup to, in Photoshop. In this case, it's probably just best to go ahead and just go ahead and make it black and white. So I'm just going to go to this half black, half white circle down here. And I'm going to actually select hue slash saturation. And I'm going to desaturate it and lighten it a little bit, or just a little bit. And then I'm going to merge it down. And I'm actually going to go to that same half black, half white circle. And I'm going to go to levels. And here, this is just going to let me mess around with how much black and white and gray there is. I want my face to be as white as possible because we're doing clown makeup right now. So it's probably best to try and stick to making your face look as white as possible when you're wearing the clown makeup. I'm gonna merge that down. Okay, so now this is where the fun part happens. I'm interested in doing a Venetian clown kind of look, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then I'm gonna blur it, just to get rid of, not get rid of, but most clowns, uh, their eyebrows have been painted over with a white color. Okay. Then I'm gonna add another layer, and start, and usually those clowns have some pretty high eyebrows, like this. And then you can just trim it up um, like this. And I'm just going to copy that eyebrow by using the move tool, holding down option and just dragging it. And then free transforming that and then flipping it horizontal. So now we've got the eyebrows. And then I'm going to add another layer. And now I'm going to actually lighten, I'm going to make this slightly opaque, I mean, sorry, slightly transparent so that I can start doing the makeup. So then I'm just going to do what I did with the eyebrow. Okay, so what you can do is then you can turn up the transparency or turn, uh, just make it more opaque. And you can also use the smudge tool um, just to make it kind of blend a little better, make it look more like makeup. All right, so the last thing that you're going to want to add is the mouth. Probably the coolest part about the Venetian clown to me is the mouth for sure, because they have mouth kind of like this. They're almost like hearts, but and then you can fix this, of course. I'm just making it so that it fills the area, and then I'm going to go back in with a smaller brush. And actually, you can even just make half if you want and do what we did with the eyes up here. And 
can just you know, fix that little piece right there. Then you can multiply it. My name is Alex, and this is how you do clown makeup in Photoshop. Thank you.